way she understood me, the way she encouraged me, the way she pushed me to God, and just her heart, the beautiful heart that she has. Like I was instantly in love with that, and instantly I wanted to marry this woman. And I, you know, made a vow to myself for the rest of my life, I'm gonna love her. I think something else I really appreciate about Samir, he's um, just the most uh, forgiving and least judgmental person that I know. <laughs> I immediately <coughs> felt comfortable with Samir. He was the first person in Nepal that I completely trusted. He was also the first person that I told just my vision in my heart that I felt like God had given me to come back to Nepal. Even though she, f she was in the States, it felt like every day when I talked to her, um, she was here in Nepal with me. <laughs> I always wanted to be with someone who really loves the Lord and pursues God and pursues like hearing from God and living for God. Olivia, I give you this ring as a symbol of my never-ending love and faithfulness. And as I place it on your finger, I commit myself to you from this day forward. With all that I have and with all that I am. Um, I think when she really shared her heart with me um, about how she, you know, wanted to come back to Nepal and God is calling her back here and she wants to serve here, like, that's exactly what I wanted in a wife. There were many times where it got really hard. Like, if it wasn't for our faith, I don't know how we would have survived mm. this distance and coronavirus and the mm. uncertainty, but then we would just turn to God. Like, that was always what <laughs> just gave us the strength to keep going. So, like, she would always, like, you know, pray with me and encourage me, empower me in the ministry that I was doing, in the everyday life that I had.
like everything about her, like she's honest and she's loving, she's caring. Just her heart was beautiful and like that's what I wanted in a woman. Look at me. <laughs> Also, sometimes look at me. Not only the Yeah. <laughs>